Hi everyone. This video will be mostly about doing cooling work, but I figured I should mention that uh, I've increased the suspension preload a little bit, mostly for the purpose of rolling it around the yard, because previously these uh, wheels back here were, or the car was resting on its fenders, so it was more or less totally locked up, at least in the rear. I'll have to add more, obviously, because the rear battery pack isn't even close to being in, so that'll add quite a lot of weight in the back. And I haven't done any of the other adjustments, but it's all for a later date. Okay, so we're doing a bit of a science experiment. So we've got the motor hooked up to house water, and we've actually managed to get the recommended minimum 5 PSI or so into it. So now all we do is we do that into a bucket. And I'll annotate what the flow rate was based on our measured time. So here we have a time lapse of machining part of the battery cooling plates. The batteries themselves, the cells are connected sort of thermally to the outside by these aluminum parts between the cells. And those need to come into contact with some sort of water circulation. So what we're doing here is we are machining a channel into a quarter inch thick piece of HDP. I believe this particular piece is uh, starboard. And the idea is that when we sandwich that HDP between two aluminum sheets, we'll be able to flow water through the channel that's been carved out. And then that will cool those aluminum sheets, which will then be... When we have a stack of batteries, we'll clamp sheets between those batteries. And then each battery will get cooled on both sides. In order to reduce the resistance to flow, there's a few features in here, like basically sort of fins in the middle of the channel. But in order to do that, we actually leave some sort of supports that are half the height of the original piece. That way when I glue down one side to the aluminum sheet, I can then go back in, cut out the supports, and then glue the other side on, and that'll keep everything in place. All right, so here we have the first prototype of the heat plate. Um, so I'm gonna apply water to it just by shoving the hose onto one of the openings here. So you can see with the bubbles, the way it flows around there. Now the problem is right there, you can see there's a pretty sizable leak that actually occurred after the first time that I pressurized this. And then those little ones on that side are, have just always been there. Uh, unfortunately that puts a lot of doubt into its ability to hold pressure. I'm probably gonna start by just taking this whole thing apart and doing a better job gluing it together and see if that makes it work. Um, I can, I'm going to have to apply a little more glue to the top, uh, develop a better system for clamping it, that sort of stuff. Here it is peeled apart. It was less difficult than I'd hoped it would be. Um, the main leaking was around here, although unfortunately it doesn't didn't end up learning much because the process of taking these apart very well may have been the thing that peeled the glue off one side or the other.